Good morning, folks. Our love to bike coming at you. Of course, you already know that from the north woods of Wisconsin today. And um, I'm going to throw this little video up, and uh, it, it's a video about Chaga. Uh, and then I also wanted to touch base on uh, what we got going on with the with the YouTube channel. So anyway, uh, we've been out on a Chaga hunt this last uh, weekend. And for those of you that don't know, uh, chaga is a mushroom that grows on a uh, on a paper birch, on the birch trees, and uh, it's said to have a lot of uh, real good, real good uh, uh, qualities. Um, it's said to uh, reduce headaches. It's said to help with uh, gastronomical. That's easy to say. Stomach problems, stomach issues. Um, it's said to uh, smooth the blood vessels so that it uh, it's like an anti-inflammatory type of thing. It supports the immune system. Uh, it's supposed to really uh, boost your immune system. Um, it is said to uh, have uh, soothing um, properties to your blood vessels so that it uh, kind of reduces inflammation and stuff like that. Um, it's said to lower blood pressure and to help with cholesterol. Um, it's said to help with uh, not not to prevent cancer, or no no claims like that. Uh, I don't think there's been any studies that say that, um, but it's said to help when you have a uh, chemotherapy and stuff like that. Um, it, it's there. There's a lot of benefits to chaga, and uh, chaga. Uh, the way we've been using it is you make tea with it. Um, you harvest it off the birch tree, you uh, clean off the uh, black on it, and some of the black, and um, smooth it out a little bit, cut it into chunks, and you put it in tea, uh, you, you put it in water, you take the chunks, you put them in water, you boil the water, or no, boil it, you simmer the water. Um, what I do is bring it to a uh, just short of a boil, or just as it starts to boil, then I turn it right down to where it simmers, and depending on how fresh the chaga is, depending on how long you simmer it. You simmer it long enough to where it turns into a coffee color, and I, I like ours pretty black, pretty dark. And it doesn't take long, and uh, you keep reusing the same pieces over and over and over again. So you uh, you have your chaga in the water, you, you cook it, you make your tea, you uh, strain your tea, um, then you uh, take the uh, leftover chaga chunks, I wrap them in tin foil and put them in the refrigerator and the next night I do the same thing all over again. And the older the chaga gets, chaga gets the longer it takes to make the tea. Um, I'll show you a couple pieces that I have here that we harvested and I have uh, processed. Um, here's a, a piece here. I don't know if this thing will focus in good for you or not. And I'll throw a little bit up about that. So, a uh, piece this large um, should last about two months. Boiling or not boiling, I shouldn't say boiling, why do I do that? Making tea should last about two months, right around in there. Uh, each time it'll take longer, but anyway. Okay folks, and we're out on our uh, chaga hunt today, and we've come along to this uh, birch forested area here and we have discovered some chaga here in which we will be harvesting. Here's some right here. And here's another piece of it up here. And uh, I've spotted some more back over in this direction. And um, I don't know if we'll be able to see that or not, but it's uh, right there, if it focuses in for you. So we're going to get at harvesting this. Nice day out today. It's uh, uh, well, it was about nine degrees when we left the house, 
It's warmed up now. I wouldn't be surprised it's 15 anyway. Maybe. So we'll get at the uh, we'll get at this chaga here. Here's a real nice one, folks. Look at this one. Look at this. See the color in there? This is what we're looking for. Nice big huge piece here. Okay, so we've got our chaga home and we've got it uh, cleaned up a little bit, broken to pieces. Um, we clean up uh, the bark and stuff off of the outside of it, clean up some of the black off the outside of it. Some people use like a rasp, a file or whatever to clean it up, but you just kind of uh, scrape that stuff off, clean it up, make sure there's no uh, bark and stuff on it, and break it into the size pieces that you want, and then um, store these to dry them. And uh, set them in a warm dry place, dry them out, and then you can um, vacuum pack them and they'll last a couple of years they say. When you use this uh, chaga you uh, you start your tea with however many pieces you want to use. You can take a piece like this and just use this one piece or take the smaller pieces and um, cook your tea and after you get done cooking your tea Take the uh, chaga pieces, wrap them in tin foil, put them in the refrigerator, and then take them back out and reuse them. And they'll last a long time. Okay, to start this, we take our uh, chaga that I had wrapped up in the refrigerator, take it out, put it in the pan. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. But um, this is pretty much the color of dark coffee now. And uh, I'll show you what we do to put it in the cup. Okay, we're going to add here just a little bit of honey to our cup. Something about like that. And a little bit of... Uh, creamer okay we take a strainer like this right here and then we use a coffee filter in that strainer okay our tea is nice and uh, dark colored here now we're gonna pour it in our cup if you can see that or not Kind of hard to do this with the camera in the way. And now it's just the right amount there. So we'll set that there. Now we'll give this a uh, stir. And uh, here's our tea delicious. Uh, the people in the uh, Middle East and the East have been using this stuff for years. And I'll bring you back and show you what we do with the uh, leftovers here, with the clumps. Um, the tea, they say you're supposed to refrigerate it, but I never do. I just leave it right on the stove. Okay, we took our uh, chunks, our chaga chunks, out of the uh, tea and uh, now I will store them in a tin foil in the refrigerator until the next time we use them. Again, if you're interested in the chaga, I suggest you go online, research it. It's C H A G A, and uh, it's a mushroom that grows on the uh, paper birch.
So I'm going to add this in here. Uh, I didn't mention it in that other one, in, in my other uh, clip here. Um, Chaga does have, uh, it does interact with um, some medicines. Uh, my, only, my only thing I'm going to say to you is if you ever do intend on harvesting Chaga or, or drinking Chaga tea or whatever, is to research it. Research it and see if it's something you can or do handle, or do want to do, and talk to your doctor. Uh, ask him, you know, should ask him or her, uh, is it something I can take, safely take? Um, but cause, because I know it does interact with some medicines. But there's a lot of uh, videos out there on chaga, and I don't know that I'll make any more than just this one, but I'm just going to throw it up there because I know that uh, uh, some of the people that watch my channel probably are not aware of uh, chaga and uh, its benefits and what it does and things like that. So that's why we put this video up here. So with that, uh, we'll move on. So anyway, now we'll get back to uh, the channel and what we got going on. Um, I have been out, uh, I've made I made several hikes on the North Country Trail this year. Uh, I spent a lot of time out there. Um, I shot a lot of video and I didn't load them. I, I got footage. Um, I have put together two uh, hikes I made in um, uh, October, I believe. I, I did edit those yesterday. And the other footage that I have, I'm not even going to bother with. And I don't even know that I'll load these ones up but anyway um, so we'll have that and then I'm gonna get out and uh, maybe do a vlog on the snowmobile and uh, I hope to get over and uh, shoot some video of the uh, Christmas lights that are around and uh, we'll put those up and um, other than that uh, you know it's winter time here of course you know, we had 17 below this morning, and we're expecting a big uh, snowstorm coming in. And uh, so we'll, we'll maybe shoot some video of some other things. I'm not sure what we'll do there. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, and I appreciate any comments you may have. And uh, remember, it's a great big world out there, so let's get outdoors and have some fun.